Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we are looking at a ballpoint pen. And this is one that I found in my local Family Dollar discount store. And yes, this 10 pack of ballpoint pens was $1 US. Okay, so that's what I paid for it. So $1, 10 pens, 10 cents, one dime for each pen. So we'll start with that. And I have looked at the cello or cello, not sure how we're saying it, brand uh, pens in the past. And these are uh, often found here at dollar stores. And this is the smooth. Uh, you can see uh, 10 ballpoint pens in blue. They have a blue barrel. Uh, close up here of the tip. Nickel here, let's see. Nickel silver ballpoint. And then at the bottom it says the joy of writing. So, cello smooth. 10 ballpoint pens in blue on the back. <clears throat> this is a 1.0 millimeter ballpoint. So that is the same standard as say a Bic crystal or a Bic round stick, medium point, uh, a paper made, Wright Brothers, uh, an Ink Joy. Those are all pretty much 1.0 millimeter. Uh, let's see here, distributed by Midwood Brands LLC, manufactured by, now here's something, Bic Cello, but it says Bic, B-I-C, Cello, India, and gives an address there in Mumbai, made in India. So here's what I don't know. I don't know <clears throat> if this company is owned by Bic or not. Uh, seems like it perhaps is. I didn't know that, if that's the case. If somebody knows, please share in the comments below. So here's one of the pens. So as you can see, and I'll try to focus in a little bit, it has a blue uh, fairly translucent barrel. You can see the ink tube, although the ink tube is white. You cannot see the ink level in the tube or how much ink is in there. We don't know. Cello Smooth in uh, a silver foil imprint. Uh, it's got a cap with a pocket clip here and it has some holes at the top uh, so that the cap doesn't become a choking hazard. You'll see that the pen has a red piece of ball of rubber at the top to protect the tip from drying out. We'll get in a little closer here. It doesn't, it doesn't look like this comes out. So there's our tip right there and then it has a blue cap at the end so let's see i assume that the cap will post on the end and it does snugly so uh, let's get to writing okay we have our cello smooth medium point uh 1.0 millimeter Pen here made in India starts right away. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to try it in cursive. Mm-hmm. Um, well, let me do a little bit more writing here. Is this pen smooth? Now it's called the smooth. It says cello smooth. Uh, it's not really that smooth, frankly. Is it smoother than an ink joy? No. Is it smoother than a Bic crystal? Mm, no, not really, I don't think. Or uh, Wright Brothers paper mate? No or even say, um, uh, to compare it to maybe another Indian pen, a Link, a Pentonic. No, it is not that smooth. Um, I've used pens that are more rough than this, but I would say it's only somewhat smooth at best. Now this may be, I have used, in, this is a 10 cent pen folks, okay? So what, what are our expectations? They're not high, let's just be honest about that. But I have used other inexpensive pens that over time uh, do smooth out a little bit. I don't know if it's the the ballpoint or what after being used for a certain amount of time it loses the the scratch and the grip that it has on the paper but this one okay we're also going to look at the ink here now there you can see we have a bit of a smudge so this is not a, what I would say, a fast dry ink. Um, if we go up to something I wrote earlier, no problem. It's color fast on the page, but uh, more immediately put on the paper, you see, you can see what, the, what happens here. We do have a smudging issue. Uh, the other thing that I can't help but notice uh, when writing is, let's talk about the barrel. So the barrel of the pen is round and it's translucent and the plastic that is used is not completely rigid. Uh, it has some flexibility. You may like that. Some people like these... Uh, Pencils like the Bic, uh, I don't know if it's the Evolution or the Revolution, I forget what they call it, but it's basically made with an extruded kind of plastic and it's bendy. Uh, I don't actually like that feel at all. Uh, and when I press down on the pen, uh, particularly here, where my, my uh, index finger puts the pressure on the pen, it bends. It's hard to see from this angle, but it bends. There's this flexibility there. Uh, and I don't know that it 
completely changes the response that the pen has to the movement of my hand or impacts the overall writing performance but it makes me feel like I have less control of the instrument when I'm using it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a 10 cent pen and this would be a good pen to put in some sort of communal place uh, where you don't care whether or not they come back or not. If, you know, uh, it, it writes uh, and I've had worse pens than this. But it's again, I don't like the I don't like the real the um, I don't like the looseness of the barrel, the material, the way it's made. Again, it's not rigid enough, I don't feel, to give you a more secure writing feel. And it is not as smooth as I would like in some other pens. To spend a dollar on 10 pens, I think is, you know, not a problem as long as you don't have expectations. But I'd also say that periodically, especially around in August, when all the stores are just overflowing with school supplies, and most of them are lost leaders and they're just cheap, you could buy a pack of pens uh, that are probably better writing pens uh, and more comfortable for a dollar as well. So there you have it. Uh, I'm still glad I tried it and I will put these pens out uh, or donate them to the library and uh, they are certainly pens that will write and uh, perfectly serviceable. Uh, but, you know, for a 10 cent pen, it's pretty much what you would expect. My other thing is they call it smooth um, and that always sounds good and that actually is, you know, something that enticed me uh, to, to want to try them. But there are smoother pens out there. So smooth compared to what? I'm not sure. But, but uh, anyways. Uh, still always worth trying a, a new pen. So thank you for spending some time with me on this edition of Always Analog. I look forward to seeing you again real soon.